there simmers and penguins, welcome, it's me Nessie and today I'll be showing you the steps to create not just one but four different types of apartments in Sims 3. Um, also I'd really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe, it really helps me grow my channel. I'm um, just quickly skipping through the build part um, just to show you that you know it's a flat no foundation level sort of townhouse apartment um, and I'd like to give all the houses different doors just to kind of give the neighbours personality in a way. Everything I used was either from base game or late night because that's the only expansion you need to create apartments. The next part is to put fencing around the outside of the houses. It basically um, makes sure that each house has its own separate space outside it um, so that the mechanics of the NPCs works correctly. Um, so once you've fenced it all off, you need to put a gate in. Remember to put a gate in so that they can actually get to them. Um, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to mark out the different sections which are going to be the uh, NPC or non-playable characters homes um, and your Sims home so um, I typically um, do the flooring and the walls for the non-playable characters in uh, black but when you put the markers in which I'll show you in a bit that actually all disappears you can't see into their apartment at all um, and um, you don't even have to furnish their apartments um, uh, so next I'm just making sure I'm happy that my layout fits in the house because you can go back to it later and change things and I'll show you how to uh, but it is a little bit tricky. So next we're going to go into the cheat phase so um, to just enable all of this to happen. Press Control Shift and C that will bring up the cheat box then type in testing cheats enabled true and then uh, buy debug on. Um, next uh, that will open the buy debug section in the buy mode so that's where the little question mark is um, and what we're looking for is these spheres uh, the first one is the marker called the hidden room marker as you can see completely removes the grid that's how you know you've done it properly um, and you can't see anything in that room from then on um, and next we're going to just scroll down and find the public room marker um, so if you've got ambitions um, on your game there probably will be another public room marker but I just tend to use the one without the ambitions logo so I've put that within all of the um, fenced off areas because that's where your sim and the NPC sims will be able to venture in and out of um, and uh, as you can see I can't actually touch any of the other things or edit them once their markers are down. Um, so now to make them doors actually NPC doors you have to go shift control and then click the door and click make NPC door so that will enable the function. Um, I'm just going to put my uh, nice little tester sim into this house now um, just to show you and what you'll notice is it's not very expensive it's only 13,000 simoleons because once you place the markers only things which are not marked as public or hidden will count towards what you have to spend so as long as you don't go crazy with the furnishing um, or make an, a really big apartment for your sim it should be relatively cheap um, so look you can see you can just ring the bell now for your neighbours and let's go and meet our first neighbour see what they're like and you know we can meet them greet them and the cool thing is you can then even have relationships with them, you'll see them around town so it's a really fun way to add a bit more to your game and you know it's nice to have a neighbour right there anytime, it's just a bit of fun. So I'm just meeting my new neighbour called Willow and oh, they're going on quite well. Um, so next I'm going to show you how to um, move things that um, you couldn't actually move when you go back into build by mode um, just because once you place the markers down um, it gets very restrictive so I can still move everything within 
her house so all the interior furnishing um interior walls everything like that um the doors as long as it's inside her lot and only her lot we can move it but if you wanted to like go oh i haven't put a window in the bathroom um if it wants to if, you know if you want to put it on the exterior you can't do that now after you've put the markers down um so there is a way to edit your lot afterwards but you do have to do another cheat so um, I'm just going to show you doing that now um, so we want to open the cheat box again and I like to type in help because you can actually find this cheat in the list of cheats and it's quite long so if you ever thought or oh, I can't remember which one it is um, you can just go through the list so you want to type in restrict build by in buildings off because you're turning the restriction off um, so you can see everything's got the grid again even the hidden rooms have the grid again um, just because that restriction rule isn't in anymore I wouldn't delete any of the hidden room or move the public markers because um, you know that is what's giving everything function so if you can leave them where they are because you don't want to mess up the function of being able to have your neighbors um, but you know here you can so you can place the windows again um, if I wanted to I could extend the house so you get lots of function back um, this is another type of apartment so as you can see all of the indoor neighbor houses and, and your apartment is inside so the doors are not facing the exterior like the sort of townhouse one I just made um, so what you want to do is make sure you've still got an enclosed sort of public area before those doors so in this case we'll be using the like entrance staircase um, as the public area um, because that's closed in you know it's got walls around it before you get to the NPC doors so that's why it works like that so I'm just gonna use the same cheats again to place the hidden um, room markers again do not touch your own apartment you don't need to put any spheres in there um, so then we're gonna put the public marker on the top floor where there's the public area and the bottom floor um, so that allows Allows all the sims to um, get to where they want to go uh, and then we're just going to control shift and then click those um, other neighbors doors again to make them NPC doors uh, so I'll just put my tester sim back in here um, and we'll see you know how this works um, everything should be fine I will say that um, sometimes if you've just made an apartment in sims and then you go on to make another apartment it can be a bit tricky and a bit glitch so sometimes it will say that it's an NPC door but when you go to ring the bell it will just say nobody lives here because I just don't think the game loves having too many apartments that you've just made so if you can help it make a, like a community lot or some an unregular house in between because then you should have all the function when you go back into your um, other type of apartment so that should really help you um, so this is another style of apartment the reason this one is different is because um, it actually has the elevators so obviously from Sims 3 late night that added elevators um, and um, you do need to add a couple of things um, that are a bit different if you're going to use elevators for your apartment so what we're going to do we're going to go into the um, by debug mode um, again so we need to put in our testing cheats enable true and then we need to go by debug mode on um, and then then um, we need to look for um, basically you can filter by uh, the expansions if you've got all of the expansions in and you're thinking oh my god where is it on this list and um, so we'll look for the late night expansion and that will just limit the amount of things that we're gonna see here so what we're looking for is the wall mailbox um, this is because if you've got the elevators it just means that um, all of the mailboxes 
prices are on the same level then because otherwise you know none of the other sims would get um, to use that and we're also going to include the call box um, now the call box is in the normal um, electronic section in buy mode and that allows visitors to come and visit your sims so they call that and they can call up to your sim um, that's just if you've got elevators you just need that added functionality um, so next we're going to add all the markers as usual again because this is enclosed we've got the hallway elevator area which we're gonna make the public area and the um, apartments which I've just got the one on this level and the one upstairs um, which will make the hidden rooms now you could wall these off and put like you know five other people's apartments in you could do whatever you like um, you know because then you've got more neighbors and you know if you find that more fun that's fine um, what I didn't do was on the second floor if I wasn't gonna plan to have any apartments apartments in there uh, I could actually place what's called the level skip marker which is still in the by debug uh, section um, which means that your sim wouldn't ever visit that level because there's nothing to see on that level um, but you know if you're not planning on doing that don't worry about it you can just do it the same way I've done and have more apartments on the level below you that's absolutely fine so again with my apartment door not touching it not making it an NPC door because that would ruin the fact that that's your apartment and now we're ready to go and place my tester sim in this to show you it all working again so um, I'll just find her and put her in for you so I actually this sim doesn't start with the uh, starter amount of money because I didn't know if um, these apartments were just overly furnished and going to be expensive so um, I get to give her a bit more money but um, you know like if you just put some basic furniture in it won't cost too much at all so that should be fine so this is the lower level uh, and as you can see she's got um, a neighbor called Jake and again can interact with him um, I'll see him around town and you can have you know relationship and get to know them so it's just nice that that's all happening within the same building as your sim um, and you know that just leads to more opportunities more memories for you um, and there's just a, a little bit more added gameplay really so we can see the other sim that lives upstairs there so um, I'm just going to show you her apartment which I furnished quite a lot to be honest um, but as you can see she can just go inside there as normal um, and it hasn't affected her ability to get to her apartment at all um, and I'm just gonna get to use the yoga mat that's actually from Mob the Sims I really love the yoga mat I always well, I pretty much always use it in every video because I just can't help it but yeah love that for her and she can use the balcony as normal so next I'm gonna show you the very last style of apartment um, which is a raised apartment in other words it's got the foundation level and as you can see it's got a little gated area just before the door now that's done intentionally and it's very very vital that you do that because if you don't have the gated area on the same level as the door then it will not work so uh, I'm gonna leave the grid mode on because um, I can see then where I place things um, that it works fine and that I've done it right so I'm just gonna place the hidden room mark in the um, two apartments that aren't my sims apartment as normal again on the upper floors as well so that um, that marks something that's not your apartment um, but the important thing here really is the public marker so um, with the little gated area that little four squares just before the door we need to place a public room marker in there um, so you, your sim can fully use the, the gates and everything that doesn't block them um, but as you can see that's definitely marked it now I tend to mark any garden space that's fenced in and not belonging to my sim as public just again because that gets the property um, cost down and your sim won't be using it anyway uh, so you can do that no problem just make sure you don't put the public markers outside of the fenced in area because that 
can confuse the game um, and again we're going to make them NPC doors so um, when we put our sim back in here now um, she should be able to go and greet her new neighbours so um, you know again I gave them all like little different coloured doors uh, you can decorate them how you want I would say I wouldn't put things that your sim might want to use in their garden spaces because she won't be able to get there but um you know in your garden space you can decorate and you know put whatever you want in there it, it will work fine so yeah look you can go and see who your neighbor is and that that should all work perfectly so I hope you found this uh, video really helpful um, and I would really appreciate if you could give this a like um, and also if you want to become one of my penguins please subscribe and join the huddle. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!